The winner of the Polar Music Prize 2022 is Iggy Pop. Taking risks, trending new grounds, challenging the audience. No musician has done it in quite the same way as Iggy Pop. He's one of a kind, and with his poetic lyrics and provocative stage presence, he's considered the godfather of punk music. I started out front man uh, for the Stooges. Uh, originally, I was throwing things occasionally at the audience. I'd throw myself, I'd throw a pie at them sometimes to wake them up, but later, people started bringing objects to the crowds to throw at us. And the, the first big one was a very, very big guy, a big boy uh, in a biker gang called the Scorpions. And his initiation was to go to our gig and to throw eggs at me. So I was in a little ballet tutu <laughs> and he's tossing these eggs and he got me with one in that face and I was so mad, I didn't know who it was. He just looked at me like this. He had a studded knuckle glove on, and I went out and kind of confronted him, and he just, boom, one punch, knocked me out. So messed up. The Stooges and Iggy's music career started in Michigan, a state that is known for the automotive industry and a hyper-masculine imperative. The men there were expected to be macho, and it was reflected in the music they created. So. You had to be, you had to, you had to be chin forward and cover all that. But at the same time, if you had any brains, which I did, there had to be some art to it. And at first, I was trying to write rock operas, uh, art pieces, but it wasn't making it. And my audience were the two Ashton boys, and they'd sort of, they'd, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they make a face like when you give your pet something it doesn't want to eat, you know? <laughs> so like that. So I started writing just basic long pieces that had a good beat. I think I was fortunate to have so much respect and interest in what Bob Dylan was doing in the 60s that I didn't want to get anywhere near imitating him or trying to do what he does. and. Uh, that kept me from being too wordy. I wanted to describe the macrocosm in the way that writers like him did, without getting uh, out of character for a kid from the Midwest. So I tried to do everything with just very, very few words and uh, make those words kind of create the sketch of a picture that the listener can fill in. I was aware of the very fine range of people that have gotten the Polar Prize. Patti Smith also. Metallica, who are a really great band. And uh, Steve Reich was, has been huge for me forever. I've loved a lot of what he he does, and uh, so many others. So, yeah, it's um, it's a nice step for me, and I uh, respect it, and I'm honored by it. Is what I would say. The Polar Music Prize 2022 is awarded to American rock icon James Newell Osterberg, better known as Iggy Pop. With his era-defining group, The Stooges. Iggy Pop created furious rock music by blending together blues and free jazz influences with the roar of the Michigan automotive industry. With his courage, initiative, and raw power, Iggy Pop paved the way for punk and post-punk. Groups like the Sex Pistols, Ramones, Susie and the Banshees, Joy Division, and Nick Cave all followed in his footsteps. As a solo artist, Iggy Pop has never slowed down and has instead pushed this art form forward for half a century. Iggy Pop is the chairman of the board who portrays alienation in poetic language. A wholly unique artist who personifies and embodies 
what rock music is all about. Hi, I'm Iggy Pop, and I'm looking forward very much to coming to Stockholm in May to receive the Polar Music Prize and uh, meet whoever I may.